Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Corey. So in our last episode, I was touring the healthy refrigerator, which I was calling the heart of a healthy home. So this week we're doing something that is close to the heart of the healthy home. It's kind of like the pericardium of the healthy home, and that is the pantry. but we do have snacks as well so I will be showing our healthy snacks at the end of this video and how we have all that set up but first we're going to organize this baby and then I will give you a full tour of all the healthy staples that we like to keep on hand to use throughout the week so truth be told we have not really had a system for this pantry organized since we moved in we've been doing renovations it's totally fallen by the wayside we knew this video was coming up, so we literally have just been like chucking stuff in there. So you are gonna get one heck of a before and after. So let's look at the before. Oh my goodness. Ah! Don't you wish you could just like close it up and then just voila, it's all done, it's all finished, but we can't do that. So looks like we're going to have to do it the hard way. So I cleared off our island for a big surface. I'm gonna clear everything out of here and sort it out based on what kind of container I'm gonna be putting it into and also what area I'm going to put it into. All right, so I've got everything sorted by category. I just wanna take a minute to just feel grateful. Yeah, just feeling really grateful once you take it all out and look at all of it. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, so next, we're actually going to think about anything that we are not wanting to keep in the pantry, anything to donate. If there's any extra snacks that we've kind of been keeping from the holidays, maybe we're ready to let that go. And um, after that, I will decant everything that's going to be decanted. I've got my trusty funnels here and I'll put things like grains, beans, that type of stuff into jars. And then anything that is not going to be emptied out of its bag and decanted, I've got some containers for that and some I'll just put chip clips on it or whatever and keep it loose in the pantry and I will show you the final when I'm done. have gone into this pantry and opened four separate boxes of crackers. Okay, so something that I do if I am decanting and I have something that's less fresh, which is this these older cacao nibs and something more fresh, I will pour them into a new jar, the fresher ones, and then I'll put the ones I need to use up first on top. hours but I feel I feel so amazing about it I really think this is going to help like decrease the stress in our family getting meals ready packing lunches all the things so let me give you a tour and then I'll show you how we do our snacks so this is cooking central so anything that I use to make stuff at the stove or in the oven or with my appliances blender food processor I kept in these cabinets all right, so over here we have things I use for making our meals. So we've got pinto beans, we've got kidney beans, and we've got white beans. I try to keep just a rotating variety of about three beans on hand. Then I have my grains. Right now I've got brown rice. Right now we have short grain brown rice because traditionally speaking, that's the better rice to use in the winter and it's been chilly here. I also have some arborio rice and some sushi rice back here. So we like to make sushi when we have the time and then we also have arborio rice for making paellas and risottos and things like that. And then for other grains, sometimes we'll use quinoa and sometimes we'll use millet, which is a good couscous substitute. We also have lentils. I have red lentils here. I have some brown lentils in the back. 
We use lentils for stews and soups and porridges like kitchery, which is a lentil porridge. And also back here, I keep my breadcrumbs. Right now I have a mixture of panko and regular breadcrumbs. Also tucked back here, I have some beeswax that I would use for making salves and things like that. All right, so also over here on the top shelf, we have canning things. So this is a little kit um, for canning, for making like fermented garlic and things like that. I have some bottles in the back that I wanna use for making an attempt at grape soda. These are an attempt at grape jam. We have some convert grapes in the yard. And it kind of became syrupy and I wanna try again and see if I can turn it into jam. And then in the back, I just have this pounder for pounding down sauerkraut and then some weights for making sauerkraut. This is our seaweed section. So this is RMA seaweed that we use for making seaweed salads. And then this is kombu that I use for making broths and sauces. Just it's a really great salty umami kind of flavor to add into soups. And then in the back I have wakame, which we put into miso soup and then I also use that for the seaweed salads. Over here I have my pastas. So we just like to mix it up with the type of grain that we have in our pasta. So this is a quinoa spaghetti. These are red lentil spiral noodles. We've got right here some, I think it's rice and maybe corn for these elbow noodles. And then in the back, I've got some green lentil lasagna noodles and some white rice noodles for Asian dishes. Okay, over here, this is stuff I use to make snacks and breakfast and also our smoothies. So right here is our porridge, which is a mixture of a few different grains and then I've mixed in dried blueberries and goji berries. So we just have an easy mixture that's very yummy. My kids love it for porridge. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, and click the notifications bell because I have healthy breakfast ideas coming up in a video soon. This is our pancake mix, and I actually have a trick that I will show in that breakfast video for how we make our pancakes a little more healthy. This is a mixture of slivered and blanched sliced almonds. I just like the mixture, so I toast those to put on our porridge. This is our dried dates, and they're already pitted. I use these when I make our bliss bites. That's another video coming up on the channel, my easy, healthy snacks. These are cashew nuts. This is what my kids are craving right now. I make toasted nuts every week, and I do it a little bit of a different flavor, so those will also be in the snack video, and I made a version of them that you can check out in the meal prep video that I'll link below. So right now we've just got a ton of cashews. I have extra nuts in the overflow section should they decide they want to try something besides cashews. And in the back here, I've got chickpeas because sometimes we also toast our own chickpeas for a snack. And then I've just got popping corn. All right, so up here, I've got all the little things I like to add in when we're making smoothies, when we're making our bliss bites, which are kind of like a protein ball. So I've got hip, seeds right here. I've got goji berries. I've got shredded coconut. In the back I have rice flour that we can use for making rice crackers. I also have flax seeds, chia seeds for chia pudding, and cacao nibs. Okay, moving right along, our last section is the smoothie section. I love the way this turned out. We've been really having fun making smoothies and my little one is learning her days of the week. And so we've just been associating every day of the week with a different color smoothie. So it's been really fun to just add these different powders. These are just superfood powders or just like healthy vegetable powders. This is beet powder, makes a really nice red smoothie. This is a mixture of acai and goji and blueberry and somehow it turns out orange. I also add a little bit of um, the yellow and the red to add more orange color. This is a golden milk powder, so it's got turmeric, it's got a little bit of black pepper, but nobody can tell, and it's got date powder in it for sweetness. This is a green powder that's by this company Organifi, and it's basically for making green juice. It's got kind of a minty flavor and a lot of amazing healthy things in it. And then this is just blue spirulina powder. It's so pretty, it makes a nice bright blue smoothie. And this is just straight up acai berry powder. It's a really good antioxidant. In this pantry, I just have my extra oils. I've got extra virgin olive oil. We sometimes use sunflower or canola oil for frying things in the air fryer. Then I have some toasted sesame oil. 
Then up above we have our vinegars and some Worcestershire sauce because we just need that in a recipe sometime. Actually, I forgot our apple cider vinegar. This is raw organic apple cider vinegar. It's so good. It actually has an alkalizing effect on your body overall. So this wasn't in the pantry because we were using it. We use it all the time. And then above that we have our pectins for making jams and jellies and gelatin. And then over here we just have overflow bulk stuff that is waiting to be decanted or is just something that I didn't want to put in a container. All right, our teas are over here in this cabinet. I just have some mugs on the side of this lazy Susan. So we just have our teas here and some honey. And then these are really cute. These are little tea bag holders that go on the side of your tea mug to hold your, your strain of your tea bag. And then up here, I just have some bulk teas. I actually will probably be filling this up, but Right now, all I've been drinking is, that I've been making from bulk tea, is this chai tea that I mix in a little dried turmeric with, and then this blend of kind of women's tea. It's got red raspberry and nettle and some things like that. And then in the back, I have dried elderberry and extra honey. This pantry turned out, I can't believe we were just chucking things in there. And it could have looked like this. So let me show you from top to bottom. All right, so up here, we've just got our backstop of cans and jars. We've got this all fruit jelly, some salsa, extra cashew butter, our beans, our corn. All right, here I've got my extra sauces. We don't use a lot of pre-made sauces because I just like to whip together my own, but there are some really good pre-made sauces. All right, so here we have cans and jars that I know I'm going to be needing. I go through them kind of quickly. So that would be diced tomatoes. I'll also put marinara sauce here. I'm actually out of it. And pizza sauce as well, and applesauce. All right, so in the back, I've got some spare room here for extra jars. If we get fizzy water, sometimes in cans we put in there. I've got a fizzy water in a bottle here. And then also in the back, I've got a few extra things that just didn't really fit up with the cans. So I wanted to keep them. These are just some jars that I wanted to keep kind of close by. And then I actually have a spot here for extra salt. So I have some smoked salt. Sometimes I even have some flaked, not smoked salt to put on top of chocolate chip cookies. And then this salt we actually use for making Play-Doh. All right, now I will go behind the snacks for a minute and then I'll share all the ways that you are snacks. All right, so back here I've got nori, toasted nori for making sushi. That's just along the side of one of these containers. I also chose to not decant some things, like even though this is pasta, it's kind of a pasta meal with the cheese sauce in there, so I just keep that in this container in the pantry, and then I've got my soups and broths back here. Extra milks. This is gonna be for my backstock of condiments, so that's where the mustard, mayonnaise, and the ketchup, that would go there. All right, it's time for the snacks. We do try to eat healthy as much as possible, but we also like to live a little, so we've got some snacks. We either keep pretzels or puffs on hand usually. These are our Bliss Bites, so I make those mostly every week, some variation of that. I also make toasted nuts. The kids love them, it's a really great easy snack. This, we always have some type of chip. This is actually a grain-free Casaba chip, which is flavored with lime. And the extra chips and things will go here on the chips. That's like our backstop stuff that didn't fit in the containers. So these are toasted chickpeas. Sometimes we'll make these ourselves and sometimes we'll buy them. So my kids know there are some snacks they can grab whenever they want and some that they have to wait and ask about. So nuts and chickpeas and fruit, not dried fruit, but just fresh fruit, they can have at any time. They can just go to their grab and go fridge to get the fruit. There's also like hummus and veggies in there. And then they can also come and grab the nuts or chickpeas. But then the rest of these snacks, they have to ask about. They would eat them like after they've had a full meal or something like that. So that's how we do that system. All right, so along the side here, we just have dried fruit. I always try to keep some mixture of dried fruit on hand. And then we have crackers. We'll either make our own crackers or buy them from the store. And then we have some granola. Up at the top, we just keep a few bars to have on hand whenever we need them on the go. And then any other quick snacks, like seaweed snacks, we would just keep in these containers. 
And then in the back here, I just have some extra chip clips. Thank you all so much for watching this video with me. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Cooking with Corey playlist. I will link it below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Here is wishing you a healthy, happy, and vibrant week ahead. And I'll see you next time in Cloud Dojo.